time said change. So must we that the new time requires new response to new challenges. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Welcome to another edition of the program as you answer the call. I'm your regular host, Binta Magaji. The heart saving scheme is gradually becoming a household name in Nigeria, particularly amongst the Muslims' Ummah. Enrollment into the scheme has been encouraging since its unveiling last year. And so tonight, in our Spotlight segment, we're focusing on the gains so far recorded and the plans to consolidate on it. Also in the program, we have our regular segments such as the NACO News Diary, which features the activities of NACO chairman, key functionaries of the commission, and other stakeholders. These are more shortly. Stay with us. Every Muslim is a potential pilgrim. To make the Hajj possible for the Ummah, the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Narcon, is running a Hajj saving scheme through Jai's Bank. The scheme allows depositors to gradually save for the Hajj over a period of time. Registration into the Hajj saving scheme is ongoing for all Muslims. Muslims wishing to perform Hajj can be enrolled into the scheme through the following outlets Narcon offices across the country, state pilgrims' welfare boards, agencies, and commissions, any branch of Jai's Bank in the country. Enrollment can also be done directly by logging into dedicated sites for the scheme. Let's participate and support the Hatch Saving Scheme for better Hatch services. Thanks for being there. We begin the program with the news diary as presented from our studio. Kaduna State Muslim Pilgrims Welfare Board said it is making arrangements to commence the process of refunding intending pilgrims who are willing to collect their money. The overseer of the board, Haji Ahanat Zailani, stated this in an interview in Kaduna. She said the board will make public announcements as soon as the date is fixed for the refund exercise. In Ondo State, the executive chairman of the State Muslim Pilgrims Board, Engineer Adam Zikrullah, said the board has slated the 7th of July 2021 for the commencement of refund to intending pilgrims who registered with the board and are willing to collect their money. He said the refund is for 2020 and 2021 Hajj payments. Similarly, in Nasara State, the Executive Secretary of the State Muslim Pilgrims Welfare Board, Malam Ahmed al Makura, said the board has mapped out modalities for the refund of the Hajj fest for the intending pilgrims not willing to roll over, pointing out that the refund will be made in phases. He added that provisions have also been made for those wishing to roll over. Meanwhile, the Cross River State Muslim Pilgrims Welfare Board has refunded all intending pilgrims who made deposit to the board. Chairman of the board, Al Haj Abdullah Memaji, said the refund is in line with Nakon directives and the state governor, Professor Ben Ayadi. Al Haj Memaji said the board completed the refund successfully on Wednesday, the 23rd of June, 2021. He further stated that the board will notify the public the date for the commencement of registration for the 2022 Hajj. In a related development, Kano State Pilgrims Welfare Board has inaugurated a 17-man committee on Hajj refund. Chairman of the board, Professor Abdullah Saleh Pakistan, inaugurated the committee. A statement by the board's public relations officer, Adiza Abbas Sanusi, says the committee, which will be headed by the executive secretary of the board, al Haji Muhammad Abbad Ambata is to work out plans to refund interested pilgrims and those who want to roll over for next Hajj. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, if just tuning in, the program is As You Answer the Call, a public enlightenment presentation on the activities of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria Nakon. Since the unveiling of the Hajj Saving Scheme in Nigeria, the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, Nakon, and other stakeholders have been leaving nothing to chance to ensure the successful implementation of the scheme. Nearly a year after, 
how far, so far. For answers to these and other questions, stay tuned for the next segment Spotlight. Don't go away. لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك the Hatch Saving Scheme was established in Nigeria to serve as a platform for intending pilgrims to effect gradual payment for Hatch fares, particularly amongst low-income earners. Since the scheme came on stream, intending pilgrims across the country have been enrolling. Hawa Abdul Karim is an event planner in Kaduna State. She recently enrolled into the Hatch Saving Scheme and speaks about her plans for the Hatch. When I heard about the Hatch Savings accounts, I understand that it's a very easy way if you have intention for going for the pilgrimage. It is an advantage for you to start paying little by little depending on your income and what you are able to save into that account before the specific time. I've gone a little while but at least having like 70% of the amount that would take me to Hajj. Hawa says with the global financial challenges, making bulk payment for Hajj will be difficult for her. It's a challenge having the money because of what is happening around the world now, financial problem with people. It's really a challenge. The event planner explains how she enrolled into the Hajj Savings Scheme. I heard about the Hajj Savings account through the media. Yes, it was an advert on the television and I said, okay, let me make a step. I walk in through Ajay's bank and I made mention of the art savings account and I was directed to someone that will give me the form. I fill a form with them. In fact, they were even asking if I want to uh, open the account, generate the account myself and I was given the website, which I know it's very easy for me. I collected the website and I generate the account from there. So that was last year, November. With people like Hawa Abdul Karim, the vision of Nakan on the Hatch 7 scheme is on course. Dr. Ali Utanko, who is the coordinator of the Hatch 7 scheme at Nakan, says he is happy with the journey so far. I say Alhamdulillah because looking at the time when the airport started uh, to now, when we can say at least the idea of what is Hajj Seven Scheme is now almost becoming household name, especially uh, with the Muslim communities all over the country. The coordinator says no single day passes without the commission receiving calls from the public making inquiries about the scheme. Now, every day we receive in the office not less than 100 calls asking for one thing or the other about the Hajj Seven scheme. So it means people are getting interest, uh, getting interested in the, in the whole subject and so on. So gradually we believe we will reach the target. He further said, officers are assigned to receive these calls during working hours. And uh, we, have the, uh, we have officers assigned to just be receiving the calls and responding to people. And if question asked, uh, the, the officer cannot provide the, the immediate answer, then they will be reached out or they will be asked to call back after getting the correct answer and then they will be given. Other means through which people make inquiries are through state pilgrims welfare boards and branches of Jai's bank nationwide. Uh, we discuss with the state welfare boards across the country and explain all these things uh, to the extent it's like uh, just train the trainers. It was done. So anybody that has any question can go to the state uh, board and inshallah he will be giving uh, thorough answers to all his uh, or her questions like that just like uh, if somebody also is close to the any of the jais bank branch can also go there again there will be 
uh, answers to uh, questions. And where there are no uh, answers, it will come to the commission, uh, such questions, and the commission will, inshallah, uh, provide the necessary uh, answers and explanations as the case may be. Hatch planning through the Hatch 7 scheme is expected to commence from the next Hatch exercise. As agreed by the stakeholders, to, by 2022, that is when the Hajj segment scheme will become operational. That is to say, people will start going to Hajj through that, who, for whoever completes his or her own payment, uh, will, be, will be then eligible to go through the Hajj segment scheme. Uh, that does not mean that uh, other channels of making the payment will, uh, will stop completely. No, they will go and then, uh, but the fact is from 2022, inshallah, there will be full operation from the Hajj 7 scheme. Since the Hajj 7 scheme was unveiled, Nakan has been engaged in massive awareness campaigns across the country. During these campaigns, state governors were among those enlisted to support and encourage people to participate in the scheme because of its enormous benefits. Some of the statements and commitments of the governors and the chief executives uh, really encourages us that uh, we are on the right track because the, some are giving us more than, if there is something like more than 100% support through enlightenment and transparent conduct, Nakan has been able to build public confidence in the scheme, thereby erasing the initial apprehension when it was introduced. And to consolidate on the gains attained so far, Nakan and the states have made arrangements to train personnel managing the scheme. What we are working with the states to ensure already some states establish even a whole department or DEX officers in some instances just to ensure there is continuity. So we want to believe that inshallah this uh, program has come to stay and uh, we will continue to use any avenue, any opportunity that will improve, we will keep improving. We will be sending people to courses, uh, on how to sustain, uh, how to sustain the, 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 the program. Apart from facilitating heart for Nigerians, the Heart 7 scheme has the potentials of bringing about economic and social inclusion. How Abdul Karim advises Muslims to take advantage of the opportunity. Putting money in this Heart Savings account, there is a profit for you, which is between you and the hard savings account, which will be shared. And it is really an advantage. I will advise all other Muslims to do the same because it's a great opportunity. <laughs> Allah, you're still watching as you answer the call. Coming up next is making the Hajj. Being in a state of Ihram is one of the pillars of Hajj and Umrah without which Hajj or Umrah rights become invalid. When and why are intending pilgrims expected to assume the state of Ihram? What are the do's and don'ts of Ihram? There's no Hajj without Ihram. If you perform Hajj without Ihram, on making the Hajj tonight, Sheikh Muhammad Suleiman answers these and other questions. Ihram is one of the pillars of Hajj and one of the pillars of Umrah. Umrah, we have three pillars, which if you lose one of it, there's no Umrah. The first is the Ihram from the Mikat. The second is the Tawaf. And the third is the Sa'i between Safa and Marwa. With Hajj, Ihram is the first pillar. Why Arafa will be the second pillar, standing the Arafa and Tawaf Ifada, the third, and Sayu between Safa and Marwa will be the fourth. So Ihram is one of the pillars of uh, Umrah, and one of the pillars of Hajj. What should intending pilgrims do before and after assuming the state of Ihram? Once you assume, in, you, you assume the state of Ihram, you have started the Hajj or the Umrah. 
So what you say is for, for Umura, I say after putting on the ram and the vehicle moves, you say Labeka Umuraten. Or I'll answer the call for Umura. Then what you'll be doing is to be engaging in praising Almighty Allah. Labeka Allahumma Labeka. Labeka la sharika laka Labeka. Inna alhamda wa ni'imata laka wal mulk la sharika la. You are proclaiming that you answer Labeka Allahumma Labeka. Oh Allah. I've answered your call. Oh Allah, verily mighty and sufficient and thanks belong to you alone. There is, you have no partner. You are proclaiming the Islamic monetarism. The more you proclaim, the more the reward. Men are, it's desirable for men to raise up their voice, but women to lower their voice. What are the rulings of being in Ihram that are peculiar to men and women? The difference between the men and women are women don't have any special clothes. Women are lucky, they can wear any clothes once it's covered their body. Only their faces and their hands are not be covered. They don't wear gloves and they don't cover their face. And they can wear any clothes for their ihram. But men are to wear two white clothes. The underwear and that that they cover their body. That's the things for the difference between women and men. And the difference also depends that when the, if the woman is not pure, maybe observing a message or my other, she will not perform the tawaf. But she put on the iram till the day she is pure and take the bath, ritual bath, and go for the tawaf and the sayu. Yes. What supplications are recommended for pilgrims while in the state of Iram? There's no special supplication in the from the Hiram. Any prayer you feel you want, your desire, you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even if it's in your language. But it's better you memorize the prayer recommended by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, saying that, Rabbana atina fi dunya asatan wa fil akhirati asatan wa kina adabandar. This prayer is so comprehensive that it has taken care of every goodness of this world and that of the hereafter. Sheikh Muhammad Hamisu Suleiman urges intending pilgrims to take in good faith the decision of Saudi government to cancel the 2021 Hajj to international pilgrims due to the COVID-19 pandemic, saying there were similar events in the history of Hajj. This is not the first time that this thing will happen. Last year, 2020, there was no Hajj from the international pilgrims. And this time, this time around, they said the same thing. And this is not the first time. According to history, it's more than 40 times now. There was a time that about 10 years continu continuously that there was no Hajj. It's the wish of Almighty Allah. And as a Muslim, when anything like Musiba comes, we should take it. Say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. We shall continue with the discussions on Ihram in subsequent editions. <laughs> Being in a state of Ihram is one of the pillars of Hajj and Umrah without which Hajj or Umrah rights become invalid. When and why are intending pilgrims expected to assume the state of Ihram? What are the do's and don'ts of Ihram? There's no Hajj without Ihram. If you perform Hajj without Ihram... On making the Hajj tonight, Sheikh Muhammad Suleiman answers these and other questions. Ihram is one of the pillars of Hajj and one of the pillars of Umrah. Umura, we have three pillars, which if you lose one of it, there's no Umura. The first is the Ihram from the Mikat. The second is the Tawaf. And the third is the Sa'i between Safa and Marwa. With Hajj, Ihram is the first pillar, while Arafah will be the second pillar, starting the Arafah and Tawaf, Ifada, the third, and Sa'i between Safa and Marwa will be the Fourth, so Ihram is one of the pillars of our, uh, Umrah, and one of the pillars of Hajj. What should intending pilgrims do before and after assuming the state of Ihram? Once you assume in, you you assume the state of Ihram, you have started the Hajj or the Umrah. So what you say is for, for Umrah, I say after putting on Ihram, and the vehicle moves, you say Labeka Umraten, or I'll answer the call for Umrah. Then what you'll be doing is to be engaging in praising Almighty Allah. La baik Allahumma la baik. La baik la sharika laka la baik. Inna alhamda wa ni'imata laka wal mulk 
la sharika la you are proclaiming that you answer la baik allah oh allah have answered your call oh allah verily mighty and sufficient and thanks belongs to you alone there is you have no partner you are proclaiming the islamic monetarism the more you proclaim the more the reward men are is deserving for men to raise up their voice but women to lower their voice what are the rulings of being in ihram that are peculiar to men and women the difference between the men and women are women don't have any special clothes women are lucky they can wear any clothes once it's covered their body only their faces and their hands are not be covered they don't wear gloves and they don't cover their face and they can wear any clothes for their ihram but men are to wear two white clothes the underwear and that that they cover their body that's the things for the difference between women and men and the difference also depends that when the, if the woman is not pure maybe observing a message or my other she will not perform the tawaf but she put on the ihram till the day she is pure and take the bath ritual bath and go for the tawaf and the uh, sayu yes what supplications are recommended for pilgrims while in the state of ihram there's no special supplication in the state of the ihram any prayer you feel you want your desire you pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even if it's in your language but it's better you memorize the prayer recommended by rasul sallam saying that rabbana atina fid dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adhaban nar this prayer is so comprehensive that it has taken care of every goodness of this world and that of the hereafter sheikh muhammad hamis sulaiman urges intending pilgrims to take in good faith the decision of saudi government to cancel the 2021 hajj to international pilgrims due to the covid-19 pandemic saying there were similar events in the history of hajj this is not the first time that this thing will happen last year 2020 there was no hajj from the international pilgrims and this time like at this time around they said the same thing and this is not the first time according to history is more than 40 times now there was a time that about 10 years continu- continuously that there was no hajj this is the wish of almighty allah and as a muslim when anything like musibah comes we should take it say inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun we shall continue with the discussions on ihram in subsequent editions alhamdulillah up next is the quiz Welcome to the quiz segment. The question in the last episode was, what is ihram? The correct answer is declaration of intention at Miqat for the performance of Hajj and or Umrah. The winner is Maryam Salih from Wuse Abuja. She provided the answer ahead of others. Maryam Salih will be contacted on how now can we reach her with the prize she won. A quiz winner will get 25,000 naira cash prize. This is part of Nakan's effort in social investment in Nigeria. Now to the quiz for this week. And the question is, what type of Hajj necessitates pilgrims to assume ihram twice? I repeat, what type of Hajj necessitates pilgrims to assume ihram twice? Text your answer to the number shown on your screen. The winner will be the first person whose correct answer is received. All answers should carry the name and location of sender. Good luck and happy viewing. Again, good luck to you. Before we round off the program, we take some messages from our viewers. Ahmed Jibrin from Bauchi State sent in the first message. It reads, I congratulate Bauchi State Government, Nakon Management and the entire people of Bauchi State on the commissioning of the new Hajj camp in the state. The second message came from JSM number 0903-677-4830. Three zero. It says, "Assalamu alaikum. May Allah bless the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria Nakon for its foresight in Hajj management." You too can send a message through our mobile number and other social media platforms. Remember, you can stop the spread of coronavirus by complying with all preventive measures. Let's support our government in the fight against coronavirus. That's it on this edition of the program as you answer the call. Join me same time next week for another package. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.
لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا